All right, alveoli, pulmonary artery. This is the our little capillary, whatever. Anyways, so normally when you breathe in, oxygen goes in, carbon dioxide comes out. We want to exchange this. This is your diffusion that happens across the alveolar membrane. So this is normal. Normally oxygen is in, carbon dioxide goes out. Well, when you breathe really, really fast, this happens really, really fast. And so it's just like repetitive offloading of the CO2. The CO2 just goes out, 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 out. Now that means that blood carbon dioxide is going to be low, right? Because we're, we're, it's all of it's leaving really quickly, blowing it off, so to speak. The problem with that is you've seen this whole equation, the buffer equation. Well, now this equation is going to get really fucked up. So <laughs> when normally in the body, you need a certain level of um, carbon dioxide and that kind of maintains equilibrium of this thing. So carbon dioxide and water will together and now when that happens now you got carbonic acid well carbonic acid turns into hydrogen and bicarbonate you don't really need to understand this super well but what you do need to understand is that when the when the carbon dioxide goes low this whole equation gets messed up so now now we don't have the ingredients to make this which means we don't have the ingredients to make this so now there's not going to be enough hydrogen that's the important one when this is low, when this is low, this is low, which makes this low, which makes this low. So the important thing is that when this is low, the hydrogen's low. There you go. So, okay. High respiratory rate means there's more carbon dioxide leaving the blood. That means the blood carbon dioxide goes low. High respiratory rate, low blood carbon dioxide. That makes sense, right? Now less blood carbon dioxide means less hydrogen. Remember this, less of this, less of this equals less of this. So now the hydrogen is low. When the hydrogen ions are low, this is a chemistry thing. This is hard to understand if you're not familiar with chemistry, but low hydrogen equals high power of hydrogen, high pH, which equals alkalosis. High power of hydrogen or low um, concentration of hydrogen ions is the same thing as alkalosis. So that's how you get from a high respiratory rate, if you want to screenshot this, I don't know, high respiratory rate to alkalosis or high pH. Um, this, you can screenshot this as well if you want. This <laughs> is so confusing. <laughs> it's so confusing. High respiratory rate equals low carbon dioxide equals low hydrogen equals high power of hydrogen, which is the same thing as alkalosis. So vice versa, low respiratory rate equals high carbon dioxide equals High hydrogen equals low pH, which equals acidosis. Screenshot right here. I'll give you this. Screenshot. Okay. One extra thing. This is not part of it, but this might help. Okay, so you know how you get carpal, carpal pedal spasms with respiratory alkalosis? The reason is, okay, normally all that uh, hydrogen, and remember how we talked about whether there needs to be a certain amount of hydrogen floating around? Well, a lot of that hydrogen is um, going to bind to albumin protein in the blood and the calcium ions are just going to kind of float around in the blood you know to a, to a degree there's a certain like level that needs to be maintained well remember how we talked about respiratory alkalosis decreases this and that decreases the hydrogen so when the hydrogen is decreased in the blood now there's not enough hydrogen in the blood so this calcium is going to have to bind to the albumin instead so now there's no, there's not enough hydrogen to bind to the albumin, so now the calcium is going to bind to that. Ooh, hold on. Okay, so now the calcium is going to bind to the hydrogen. Problem with that, now there's not enough calcium floating around in the blood. <laughs> so when the blood calcium goes low, that's hypocalcemia. Hypocalcemia. That causes increased muscle excitement and tetany. Kind of complicated. Look up action potential and look up calcium and how that affects hypocalcemia affects blood. But anyways, that's how you get the um, tetany or the carpal pedal spasms.